Hey guys, how's it going? DOJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to this week's coming soon video. We have so much to talk about, so we're going to jump right into this right away. First off, huge thanks to all of you guys who came to my stream today. It was amazing. Thank you so much. I did an early morning stream today, kind of uh, off schedule, getting the boom bowl, trying it out. I've been working at it all day long today. I have different setups for it. I have different hero loadouts for it. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys tomorrow. So keep an eye out tomorrow. Hopefully in the morning, I will be releasing early a video uh, that I've been working on editing a ton of stuff, just finding out how I'm going to be using the boom bow because it is an incredibly interesting weapon. It's good. It's good. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's uh, you know what? We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Next thing I want to say is huge thank you. Yeah, definitely huge thank you guys. All of you guys who came to the stream. It was fantastic. All of you guys watching my videos. Thank you so much. You guys are so positive. So amazing. I appreciate you all so, so very much. Thank you also all of you using my creator code. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much to all of you using my creator code in Save the World, using it over in Battle Royale to buy things in the locker. Thank you so much. Thank you for the donations, the subscribers, everything. You guys are incredible. Thank you so very much. So let's jump into this and talk about what's coming soon. And um, we're going to start here. You guys see what's behind me? For, well, first of all, 14 days of summer. The 14 days of summer are officially all here. Um, you have to do the final mission today, which is going to be the survivor mission to then get the Boombo. The Boombo is a very interesting weapon. You get it by completing all 14 quests. If you haven't completed them yet, you will have an extra quest that will show you what you still need to complete. Once you've completed all of them, you get the Boombo and there you go. That's how you get it. But if you see over there at the end, see over there at the end, it says beyond the stellar horizon quests. That wasn't there earlier. This morning, when the last 14 days of summer appeared, we had this. I actually was able to get a screenshot of it before it went away, and it was this right here. This was our splash screen, our new screen that appeared this morning. And if you check over there, look over there in the corner, it says the Atomizer 9000. The Atomizer, the husks, the Atomizer, the husks with this new sci fi launcher and it says new it says new on it it should say coming soon so i'm thinking that tonight in a very little in very soon when the day resets we are going to see probably this flash screen return i don't know maybe they won't maybe it won't show up until wednesday and that is when this will show up because let me show you guys here we don't have any information on that web on that weapon we don't have any information well yeah the weapon it's not in the item shop not in the air shop here right now. Ooh, upgrade levels. Yeah. Oh, by so the way, guys, the. I have a complicated <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. What's going on here? Really get me. I've got a mythic in my super people. Do I need her though? That's so really that's weird. That was so weird. Okay, weird. Um, we don't have any information for that deatomizer here yet. See, no deatomizer over here yet. And if we go over to the collection book and we check in the event schematics for the retro stuff, it's not there yet. So more than likely, it will appear this Wednesday. And let's look a little bit more into this. So if we go into our current, I think it's this one. No, this one. There we go. If we go into our current roadmap that we have, we look at the week of 6, 11, right? No, 7. We're looking at 7, 7, 9. We look at the current week of 7-9, the, this is the week that's coming up right now. This is going to be the final week of the version 9.30 content updates. The following week, more than likely either a Wednesday or a Thursday, is when we are going to have the launch of version 9.40, as it says right here. And we'll talk about that more in a second, what that means, birthday event and all that. But let's finish up talking here too, first. So, version 9.30 content update week of 7.9 this week, we are going to get the sci-fi launcher, which, as I just showed you guys, 
which let me see if I can pop it over this one. Is this going to work? Is it going to work? Yes, it will. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the D Atomizer 9000. It's right there. Um, so far, we have no other information on it in game. There's no other information released in game. I'm sure that people have, you know, data mined and know exactly what it can do and everything. Personally, I'm not someone I'm, I want to be surprised. I want to be excited. I want to wait. But we do know that it is going to be called the Deatomizer 9000, and it's going to be the sci-fi launcher. If it continues along the line of what we've seen with all the other weapons, it will prove to be a very interesting weapon. I'm actually very curious about it, and I'm actually kind of excited to see what it's going to entail. Um, I, I I have my I have my uh, I have my my thoughts about it i don't know i don't know what it's gonna entail but we're gonna have to wait and see and finally the last thing we're gonna see this week is war games double trouble there are two of them so another war games another chance for more tickets and that's what's gonna bring us to the last one so that's all we know that's gonna be coming this week of course the big thing this week right now is the boombo again if you do not have the boombo yet uh or as we're calling it now the bumbo if you don't have the bumbo it's right there. Check it out right there. That's the Bumbo right there. I can show you guys mine really quick. Like I said, I will be showing you guys a lot of stuff that I've been practicing and trying out with it. Uh, there's mine. That's how I have mine built right now. Don't worry. My, lots more to come. It's it's an incredible weapon. It's a very interesting weapon. Uh, the fact that it's got the shotgun shell at the end and it causes the explosion it does. Very interesting. The way you can do it is go to your quest. The way to get it, go to your quest log. If you see here the 14 days, actually, does it say? No, it doesn't say. No. If you have up here and you have the 14 days of summer list still, click on it. Once you click on it, you'll be able to go through and you'll be able to see just what exactly you need to do to get yourself the boom book. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Highly recommend that you jump into it and go for it because it is a pretty cool weapon. And like I said, tomorrow morning, I will be releasing a video more in depth talking about it. The different hero setups I've been using it. I'm going to show you guys different setups that I have used on it. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys. It's a very interesting, very, it's a fun weapon. It's a fun weapon. Is it going to become one of my main weapons? I don't know, honestly. I honestly don't know if it's going to become a main weapon. But it has potential. It has potential. So we're going to take a look at it tomorrow. Uh, there's a sneak peek at one of the setups that I've been uh, using with it. It's, it's so interesting. But anyway, so the other thing we have is the sci-fi launcher. Like I said, we don't know any information of it. Last thing, don't forget that this will be coming out Wednesday evening. So in 47 hours, 48 hours. Oh, it's already been the day reset. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Um, daily rewards. There we go. There's my daily reward, Alama. Boop. So, in 47 hours, in two days, we will be getting around this time the update to the shop. And in that shop, don't forget if you need to get these these heroes, definitely get them. If you need to get the Copper Freedom's Herald, definitely get it. If you need to get all that, of course, definitely go for it, because when the launcher comes here these weekly items are gone so definitely pick them up if you don't have them yet i am for sure gonna pick up at least patriot penny and glory ace or old glory ac because i need them for my collection book as well as eventually i need to get chrome ramirez diecast jonesy and black knight garden as well but more on that in the future so what's going to happen? A lot of people have been asking, when is the birthday event coming? When is the birthday event coming? When is the bir birthday event coming? The birthday event is coming next week, possibly next Wednesday or Thursday. So we have approximately eight or nine days left to grind those tickets. Why? And what's going to happen to those tickets? Currently, I am sitting at 7,233 tickets. I'm going to try and get to myself to about 10,000 so I can open at least 10 birthday llamas when they first come out. See what I get. But what happens with the moment these are summer tickets, guys? OK, these are summer tickets. Summer tickets are going to be used for the entirety of season nine, all of season nine. And if we look over here on the post and Reddit, it says we wanted to give you a heads up that the sci fi llama will be available until the launch of version 9.40, which is the week of 716 next week. The sci fi llama will be replaced by the year two birthday llama 
and similar to last year, we'll be providing a comprehensive checklist of items that you can snag from the Llama Closer launch. So very soon, maybe this week, maybe next week, we will get ourselves a list of exactly what is going to be in those birthday llamas. So be patient. They will tell us. Uh, the year two birthday llama will ca cost 1,000 summer tickets, same ticket type as the previous season nine llamas. We don't really know what's going to happen apart from that. They say, you know, you can spend your tickets to Cypher Llamas or you can stockpile them for birthday two llamas. The choice is yours, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that is all we know right now about the birthday event. That's all we know. I'm sure we're probably going to find out more this week. Of course, we'll talk all about it whenever we know. It'll be a very interesting. I actually think it's going to be very interesting how it comes out. And finally, what is my recommendation? My recommendation to you is it just depends what you need the most. If you've been playing this game for a while like me, and if you saw my recent collection video, you saw that even though I have a lot of stuff in the collection, I'm still missing a ton of stuff. I'm still missing a ton of stuff. Let's see if I have her. Did I put her away? I did. Okay, so I don't need her. I don't need the girl who's in there in my llama this week. Uh, but even though I have a ton, and I do mean a ton of these items already, um, as you guys can see, I'm still missing a, a bunch of them. And don't forget that if I want to also have, um, yeah, look at this. My goodness, look at this. It's it's crazy, guys. There are so many of these uh, of these heroes, so many schematics, so much stuff that I still need multiples of, especially in the schematics. The weapon schematics, if I also want to fill up my crystal side of the collection book, I still need tons, guys. I still need tons of stuff. So do I recommend that you buy right now the sci-fi llamas? Well, if you already have most stuff, if you focus on getting the sci-fi llamas now, or, or for example, if there's something specific that you really need from the past, focusing right now, getting the sci-fi llamas right now will guarantee you the sci-fi items. So you can get those out of the way don't forget though if it's the same as last year each birthday event or each birthday llama will bring you a legendary item but and that's the thing all of those other ones the rares the epics the the commons and everything those are not going to be as easy to get in the birthday events those you got to get in the other ones so it's kind of that balance where you have to think now if you're newer to the game i would most totally recommend that you just save up save up for the birthday event get them in your birthday event get all those llamas good luck really really good luck because it it's gonna be an interesting one it's definitely gonna be an interesting one there are some key items some key heroes and schematics that I will recommend that you go for but all in all I kind of do think that it's gonna be more oh I have some why did I have 17 now uh, you know what? Let me open this upgrade, Llama. Um, I do feel that it's going to be more important to focus on... I, I feel it's just more important to focus on the birthday llamas. I really do. So anyway, let me check to see if I have any other Llama here that I want to open. I have a rare weapon. I have another upgrade. Let's open these two real quick. But anyway, that's it, guys. The big, big feature of the day is that we have that Deatomizer 9000 coming. I am very curious to find out just how powerful it is. Yes. And we'll know in two days. So, we got plenty of time, guys. You got plenty of time to grind, get your gold, get the stuff in the weekly and the weekly um in the weekly llamas. Tomorrow I'll have a new video talking about the boombo and how I plan to use it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. See you guys next time. And see ya.